Hi and welcome back. In this video, let me show you how you can connect your domain on MailChimp. The one I'm referring to is whereby maybe you want to use your domain on your landing page. So what you're going to do first is uh, you'll come here under brand. This is a new menu item here. Just come here to manage your domains. And when you come here, you see you can do various domain management. So the first one you can do, you can manage your domain for the email you're sending from. So if you want to send your emails from your own domain uh, account, maybe ricky at bizanosa.com, something like that, you can just click here to verify and you'll put in your email address and then you'll go and then you'll go into your email and then you, you'll click on the verification items that you're given there. That's the easiest way to do that. The one we're interested in is connecting your domain name. So this is whereby maybe you want, you want to use it on your landing pages and the new feature, which is a website. If you come here, you see you can create a website. So if you want to use your domain, this is how you're going to connect it with MailChimp. So the first thing you have to realize is that people have different places where they bought their domain name. So where you bought yours is probably different from where mine is hosted. So you'll need to go to wherever you bought your domain. If you bought it on GoDaddy, go to GoDaddy. If you bought it from Namecheap or wherever, you're going to find a way for you to manage your domain records. So let me first of all give you an overview of what you're going to do. You're going to connect the domain by adding the domain that you want to use there. And then you're going to get various details. And then those details are going to get added. You're going to add those details to your, wherever your domain is hosted. If you bought it from GoDaddy, you can add the records on GoDaddy. So for me, this is Cloudflare. And I'm going to talk more about Cloudflare once we get here. So first, you choose the domain that you want to use. If you want to use a domain or a subdomain, then you can do that. So this is a domain. Let me just use this as a sample. This is just a sample, okay? So this would be a domain. If you want this to be a domain that you can use for your MailChimp landing page or you can use it for your MailChimp website, then you can do something like this. If you want to use a subdomain, a subdomain is the one that contains a dot. Maybe you want to just create a page for a marketing item and maybe you want to call it signup.bizanosa.club. So this is a subdomain. So you can use a full domain or a subdomain, okay? So in this case, let's say that I want to use a subdomain because you probably already have a website and you just want to create a landing page that you can use for a specific signup item. So in this case, let's say we are using signup.bizanosa.club. I will click submit. The next step is for me to copy this and bring it to wherever my DNS records are. So as soon as I copy this, I will need to go into wherever my domain is being hosted, wherever I bought the domain from, and then I'll come back and click connect, All right? Let me come back here and let me explain a little bit about Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a service that allows you to use various free and paid items here. So here you can have your domain. You can use Cloudflare for all your D DNS records. So this is something that I do as well. I use Cloudflare for my DNS record. So what you do is if your domain is hosted by GoDaddy, what you can do, you can go to GoDaddy and then you'll need to change your name servers there. So the name servers you're given by Cloudflare. If you already have a Cloudflare account and you're using Cloudflare for your DNS records, you'll just come, choose the website that you want to work with. If you have multiple websites, just choose the website that you want to work with and then click here on DNS, up here on DNS, and then you can come here and add a record. So as it said here, we need to add, copy the CNAME record and add it to your domains, DNS settings or records. You'll also need to add your subdomain sign up to the CNAME records name or host field. Okay. So on the other end, on Cloudflare, I know it's called name. And on other, on other places, maybe, maybe they call it host. Okay. So just note that this is what you're going to add here. That's what you're going to add here under name and then target. Target is target is the MailChimp, the MailChimp given record here. So that's the one you're going to add here. And then for name, name is going to be your the domain or the subdomain that you want to use. So if you want to use this as your 
as a place where your website will be will be so if people go here you want them to see your mailchimp landing page this is the one you'll copy that's the one you're going to copy somewhere here so you can see on cloudflare it's called name wherever your domain is being hosted it's probably being called name also or it's called host okay just know that this first item is is your domain or your subdomain and then the value that you're given by mailchimp you put there so target what is a cname first of all okay just choose a cname here the type this is easy to choose you just choose cname so the cname will basically oh i've deleted everything the cname basically is going to redirect this into this so that's what a cname does so i think here was sign up copy that again and then i will just paste that in there and for this you can just ignore that it's going to give us whatever default value it has so you can see we have a cnm record this and this this may need some time to propagate okay it's just going to it's going to need some time to propagate and what you can do once it has propagated you can also see it tells you it can take up to 24 hours to complete this process so just click connect so you can see it says that it has started this is still being verified it's going to verify this so this might take 24 hours to finish up once it finishes it's going to tell you verified as long as you do everything right it's going to tell you verified once this is done and it tells you verified once you come here under brand and uh, let's do something that we're used to like landing page you come here under landing pages or let's just see if we have a landing page that you already created so if i come here under this landing page that i already created and i click on landing pages so if we click here we want to edit we want to edit this so let me just click on it to edit it it's just a sample that i created in one of the free tutorials that i did for landing pages let's edit the url and you can see once you edit the url you can click here to use a custom domain you can click here to use a custom domain if you are on various plans so you can see this is a free account and i don't have that option but if i did i haven't upgraded the account because i don't use it for anything other than tutorials but if i had a paid plan i would just choose use a custom domain and then i would be able to choose the domain that i've connected from here okay so that's pretty much how it goes you connect the domain and then you save and that's just how you would be able to do that and that would and that would make sure that if people visit this they would go to your landing page so that's pretty much what i needed to show you in this video because it was a promise i made in the last video but if you have any questions feel very free to let me know i will see you next time